Good afternoon, everyone. It's Stephen Smith here at Inside Out Studio for Live Art Mini. Hope you're having a wonderful Friday. And I'm here with my friend, Dale Murphy. Anyone you want to say hi to? Is a hello for Jerry. Hello for Jerry? My friend. Come, come to over to see me, please. All right, so Jerry, if you're out there, you want to stop by Inside Out, uh, stop by on a Friday, and you can uh, say hi to Dale. So we miss you, Jerry. Hope you're doing well. And Dale also wanted to say hi to Terry, who's not with us today. So we miss you, Terry Elms. We'll see you next week. And then Dale, it's the last week of Dog Days of Summer. So we got some special ceramic mugs that we're making. So I'm going to be working with Dale as well as Ashley Paris today. And they've selected two different types of dogs that they're going to put their faces onto a ceramic mug. Sound like fun? Yes, I did. All right. So as always, we want to, to have you get to know the artist a little bit better each and every week. So Dale is going to ask you a few questions about some of your favorite things. So first and foremost, what is your favorite TV show? Uh, Raw and SmackDown. Raw and SmackDown, so you're a WWE fan? Yes, I do. Who's your favorite wrestler? Nate Turner. Nate Turner? Well, I don't, I don't watch wrestling. I used to when I was a kid, so I'm not sure who that is. But so WWE is his favorite TV show. What is your favorite food to eat? Uh, pizza. Pizza? I love some pizza myself. What's your favorite kind? Uh, cheese. Just cheese pizza? Awesome. And then I was going to ask you too if you had a favorite sport. I know the answer to this question already, but who's your favorite sports team to follow? Uh, my name is Benjamin, here are fame tonight. Marty Brenneman Hall of Fame tonight for the yeah. Cincinnati Reds. All right, so I'm a Reds fan as well, so they're fighting for that wild card spot. And also locally, congratulations to Westside Little League here in Hamilton. So they're going to the semifinals this weekend. They've been doing a great job in the Little League World Series. So big shout out I want to give to is to Sherry Armstead and everyone over at Symmetry Boutique and Gallery. They're our season sponsor for Live Art Mini, so they let us bring this show to you every week, and we're so happy that they support the studio. So go check out Symmetry Boutique and Gallery on Sims Road in Fairfield. They've got some one-of-a-kind handmade artwork, just like we create here at Inside Out Studio from some local artists and some regional artists as well. All right, Dale. Should we get into making some clay? Yeah. All right. So we're going to go to the creativity camera and show you the steps of creating our dog mugs today. So let's get to work. I'm going to fade that over right now. All right. So Dale, on the right side of my screen here, that's what people are seeing. So they're looking down right at what you have in front of you. So they're going to go through the steps with you as we start to make this mug. And you selected, you said you wanted a large brown dog, and we looked through Google Images, and we landed on this. So we got a nice boxer that we're going to do. Yeah. So first and foremost, to let everyone know, if you haven't tuned in before, we use a slab roller to create the majority of our clay pieces. So that takes clay, turns it into about you know, a quarter inch thick slab, and that way we can use some stencils to help our artist create the different forms. So first we have this large rectangle, which we're gonna roll into a cylinder to create the mug itself. We've got the mug bottom. We're gonna be doing some constructing on the surface. It's called the additive method of adding clay onto the surface and doing some hand molding to try to make this boxer come to fruition here. All right, so shall we get started? You've already traced around your mug form. Yeah. Do you want to go ahead and use your needle tool and trace around the mug bottom? And then, Ashley, do you have our stamp that goes on the bottom of the mugs? I'm pass that over here. Thank you. And then Dale's already smoothed out both sides of this slab of clay. When it goes through the slab roller, we have a canvas cloth that it sits between that does put texture on it. So we want to get it as smooth as possible to get the artist's design on there. Very 
Very good, Dale. So we're just going to pull the extra clay out from around the two pieces we made. So we're going to pull it away like this. That way you're just going to have a rectangle and a circle to work with. And I'm going to go ahead and carve the clay out. If you want to help me out with that side, just pulling the extra pieces out from around your two stencils. And while we're working, as always, if you want to give us a comment, Kim's behind the scenes, keeping track of Facebook, and she'll let me know if you have any questions, comments, or if you just want to say hi today. But thank you for all those that are tuning in. All right, we're going to save this extra clay for later, because that's what we're going to use to build the dog's face on there. All yeah, right? It's cool. Cool. So as always, we want to make sure that we sign the bottom and then use our inside out stamp on here. All right, so we've got our inside out stamp on the bottom. And then Dale, if you want to grab your rib, or let's see. I'm not sure if you have one of the drawing tools. I'll grab one for you. All right. Please excuse my phone, everyone. Forgot to put it on silent. <laughs> All right, Dale, if you want to just yeah. put your signature right there on the bottom. That way, whoever would like to purchase your box or mug will know that you created it. All right, going with the initials DM, very good. So we'll just flip that, because we know that's the bottom. And then let's talk about this. This is gonna be, I'm gonna grab it real quick, just to show everyone the visual at home, how we're gonna turn this into a cylinder. We're gonna score and slip it together on this side, add the handle right there, just to kind of mask the seam. So we need to put a dog's face on the outside. Okay. I'll say, Dale, are you a righty or a lefty? Right, right here. You're a righty? Okay. Yeah. So that means our handle is going to go here. And generally when we're making coffee mugs, you want whatever image you're saying to go on the outside. So our face for the boxer is going to go approximately right there. Okay? Yeah. So what we're gonna do, since we're gonna be building, using the additive method of clay, the face on top, we're gonna need to score this whole part because we're gonna be adding clay to it. Whenever you add fresh clay to fresh clay, you wanna do what's called scoring and slipping, which means roughing up the surface with a specialty fork and then adding water to help that clay just kind of mold together and melt into itself. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna help you out here, I'm gonna be do a big circle, and if you wouldn't mind taking your scoring tool and running it over that whole area. And that's going to be a little shortcut as we start to mold that dog's face right on the side of your mug. I was going to say, you've got that nice circle down. You can also just go straight up and down. I usually recommend crisscrossing, so up and down and side to side. So if you want to go down, 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 all through that area, and then across, across, across. Very good. You got a nice rhythm going. All right. And then we'll go across over that whole section.
I can, can I help you out real quick? Let's go this way. All the way to the top. Very good. All right, so now we're gonna start building the boxer's face right over this area. So we're gonna pull this image over. And then I'd say the easiest part to start with would probably be the ears. What shapes do you see for the ears? Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're very triangular. So we can cut the triangle out of clay. At this point, you use your needle tool again. So we're kind of freeform building at this point. And feel free to use your other hand to help stabilize that clay to make sure you get all the way through it. out once again we're gonna go and go ahead in, in yeah. here and just get a triangle out of that corner maybe a triangle out of this corner too so at this point we're just gonna start placing it on there hand forming it maybe that ear is a little bit bigger than the other one so we can slice off a little bit of that how are the ears look? It is very good. Come along? Okay. So we'll just set those on there for now. We're not scoring and slipping yet because we're going to come up with our plan and see where we need to place some other ones. So the next part I'd say would be the snout. Snout. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like an elongated half circle. You could put it right there and then pop a nose right on top of it. Left up. Yeah. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. So since that's got some lines in it, let's go ahead and smooth that out again. We'll get rid of the, the light lines that are in there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then we can flip it over and we'll size it up and see how big that snout should be based upon the picture. And I say there's still some of that canvas texture on this side too. So if you wouldn't mind smoothing that out, Dale. And just adjusting our camera so people can see more of where you're working at. Very good. All right. So let's take this mini slab. Let's say in general, it would take up about maybe that much space. So I'm going to do a light line over top of this, and then you could take the needle tool and carve in all the way through. Boxers are also known for their jowls. They've got those low hanging jowls on either side. So we're going to take your needle tool and go all the way through on top of the line that I just made there. Hold it in place for you. And hey, hey, while we're working here, I just want to remind you that we do have our store hours that have extended. So we're open from Tuesday through Friday from 10 to 6 o'clock at night now. And we are open on Saturdays from 10 to 4 moving forward. But tomorrow we've got a special engagement. We've got Hamel Palooza down at Markham Park. So come out and say hi to our new retail associate, Kenzie. She's going to be working the booth for us. And it's an event put on by the Greater Hamilton Chamber. So there should be some great Hamilton business out there. 
showing their wares, including ourselves. So come say hi. What are you doing tomorrow, Dan? I'm gonna go sleep in. You gonna sleep in? Yeah. That sounds good to me. If you got nothing going on, you should come out to Hamilpalooza. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put a little nose right there at the top of the snout. Do you wanna snout? Do you wanna mold a little nose since we're doing <laughs> hand building? There we go. And then. We're going to just put it right there. Like I said, we're not scoring and slipping anything as of yet. I think we need... What else do we need? What are we missing? Uh, eyes. Two eyes. Do you want to roll out two little eyes? I'll do an example here. The best way is in between your palms, this method like that. You get a nice sphere rolling. More like a football, so I just squeeze in the hands. All right, do you want to make a couple yourself? Let's see them. There's one. Okay. Do you want to use the one I made as well? Okay. I'll just use that for time's sake. So those will go right in here. Anything else we need to add? His, his tail. His tail? Well, that'd be cute to put a tail on the back side of the mug. Yeah. Since the face will be on one side, the tail will be on the other. So I know that boxers have just like a little, little nubby tail. Yeah. That's not a correct term by any means. <laughs> it's just what came to mind. But we could put a little nubby tail right back there. Yeah. Okay, so that looks cute. And then we can kind of carve in the mouth as well as some of the wrinkles around his jowls with our um, drawing tool. So let's start scoring and slipping, okay? So I'm gonna flip these over. And you're just gonna use your scoring tool on the back side of all the features, the ears, the snout, the eyes, and pass it to you. And that way we can attach it to the surface of the mug. To the mug. Correct. So just go ahead and score the back side of that part. Back side. Yeah. So yeah. you're going to run the scoring tool right over top. Scoring right over top. And while you're doing that, I'm going to jump over to our program here because we do have a message from Debbie and Sherry over at Symmetry Gallery and Boutique. They've got a special for you. If you want to go in and mention that you've seen them on Live Art Mini, you get a discount yourself. So let's hear it straight from Sherry and Debbie. Hi, it's Sherry and I'm here with Debbie at Symmetry. We just want to take a moment to say thanks for your love and support of Symmetry Boutique and Gallery because we love you at Inspiration Studios as much as you love us. Come see us, come see some of our outdoor art and mention this video for a 10% discount. Look forward to seeing you. That's right, see you soon. All right, thank you Sherry and Debbie once again. If you want to go mention that you've been watching Live Art Mini and you saw that they are sponsors, they're gonna give you a discount over at Symmetry Boutique and Gallery. So that's awesome. Yeah, we did. Alright, so we're back here with Dale. We're making our boxer mug. We've got some scoring going on the back. We're going to add the ears, snout, and eyes. So we're going to go ahead and paint some water all across where you've scored on the mug. Quick visit in with Ashley, who's got a. What kind of dog did you pick today, Ashley? Toy poodle. All right, we got a toy poodle that she's going to be working on. All right, yeah, we're going to have some water there and here as well. So we we'll use a brush to add water because that makes sure it 
gets into the cracks and crevices and it doesn't seal the surface too much because you want to make sure that those cracks and crevices from the scoring are adhering to each other. And this one's good to go. Just going to flip it over. Just going to firmly press down to make sure that connects to the surface of your mug. But one thing we didn't score and slip was the nose. So let's score here and here. I'll hold it in place when you get those lines carved in there. And then we'll do some right there where we're going to attach it to make sure it's securely added. Much more in there. I'm just going to smooth that out. And let's go ahead and add some water to those two spots and we'll put that nose on. Okay. So, once again, this is our additive method of working with ceramics. The opposite would be subtractive. So, if you had a thicker slab of clay, you could carve out the spaces around the areas you're trying to make. If you want to go ahead and add some water here and here, and then we'll flip the ears over as well. Flip them over, we'll flip them over. I'm going to grab your water here. I want to make sure that everyone visits with Ashley for a little bit before we sign off for the day. Mm -hmm. It's going to expedite the process there we go. Yes, yep. So give that a good pat. Make sure that ear is well connected. And then if you will, add some water right in this area and you can pop those two eyes on. And like I said, we do want to visit with Ashley Dale. I'm going to slide over here and say hi to her. But make sure all of you watching out there, if you weren't tuning in live today, you can always check us out on YouTube. We do have a YouTube channel of all the live art minis that you can search for Inside Out Studio. And then keep an eye out for that online store or in-store for Dale's mug and Ashley's mug that we're creating today. On top of all the other awesome artwork that we make. All right, Kim just notified me that we didn't have any sound there for the last little bit after we came back from Sherry and Debbie's video. So once again, this is Ashley Paris, who's also making a dog mug today for Dog Days of the Summer. Do you know what Wednesday was, Ashley? It was National Dog Month. We just got it back on. That was Kim just telling me that I forgot to put the sound back on after Sherry and Deb's video. So let's visit in here with Ashley. I'm going to go rotate our creativity camera and once again show you. Here's the dog that Ashley picked this morning from the iPads while we're getting some ideas. So we're going to put the, the little poodle's face on this mug. Correct? Yes. Okay. All right. So we're going to fade back in here. You know any good jokes to entertain people with while I switch this camera around? <laughs> okay.
All right, let's make sure that creativity camera has you in sight here. We're going to go at a slight angle. Okay, I'm going to switch to the overhead view. All right, so we said we're going to put the toy poodle face right there. And here's the drawing that you did. Yes, I was talking to Tracy. Then we're going to go ahead and scoring slip there. So if you're watching what uh, Dale and I were doing, you can just use your scoring tool to score up that whole area. Where you? Just right around where you put your face. Right here? Mm-hmm. Not nothing. Yep, all down there. So this whole area. How should we score? We'll go ahead and score side to side and up and down. Can you show me? Mm-hmm. You guys? Yes. We're going to go up and down, not here. Not yet. Okay. Right, so the whole area, go in, and then you can go up and down. Switching? Yep, now up and down. Do you want to Yes. Okay, there we go. Alright. So now what's the next process? Where do you want to start? So we've got the different features on the dog's face. You've got the ears, the poof on top of the head, and the snout and nose. The ears. The ears first? Okay. Mm -hmm. How would you describe that shape of the ears? Teardrop. Teardrop shape. Very good. So let's go ahead and grab a chunk of flame and pass that to you. We can make it side by side. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you can just kind of make a teardrop shape. No, I do. You do want to. Yeah, you do that too. Okay. Use the table, smash it down a little bit. We do want to make it a flatter piece. <laughs> if we get too thick with clay, what can happen is the moisture builds up during right, the firing process. And the water helps them. Yes. So we want to make sure that the clay is not too thick, or else it can cause cracks or even explosions <laughs> from the moisture yeah. and pressure building up. Like this. Smash it down like that. Smash yours down like that so it's flat. A little bit harder. We're going to go a little bit thinner with that. Very good. And then kind of place it on there. We don't want to score and slip it yet. We're going to make it a little bit lower. Leave some room for the poof. Uh, I don't think we necessarily need a collar. There's one in the picture. Okay. And since we're trying to get the dog's face as big as possible on the side yeah. of the mug, maybe we skip a collar. Okay. What do you think about that for a poop? Yeah, that's good. Okay. So that one's evil. Got it. Yeah. Okay. What do you think of for a snout? You want to tackle that one? What do you mean? So we're going to make sure it's three dimensional so it's popping up a little bit. That means it's not just flat like on paper um, or like a, a painting. It has a little bit of dimension to it. So it's like the nose is popping right out at you. Okay. So you could mold a snout there. And you know how to do hand building because you create all those awesome bells. Yeah, bells. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bells chime. So Ashley's known for her animals that she creates. Where it starts with the, the head at the top and has the legs dangling down. Mm -hmm. Let's say, maybe we just pop out like that. Okay. And we'll add a little nose right to the top of it. Okay, with this? Uh, we would add it with scoring and slipping. Oh. But we can do that after we end the show for the day because it's almost 1.30 already. So we're going we're gonna to turn it back here to our front view camera. Sure you don't want to say hi to anyone today? Hello, everyone. Hello to everyone. So, and Ashley, what are we doing in two weeks? What have we been talking about? We're not going to be in the studio. We're going to... Golf outing. Golf outing. So we've got our first Inspo Studios Golf Classic. It's at Potter's Park in Hamilton. So we still have time for people to sign up if they would like to be golfers. So check us out. Let us know if you'd like to participate. It's going to be on September 10th at Potter's Park. And we're also doing a really cool installation in their clubhouse. So we're going to do a mural slash glass combination installation. So 
be tuned in for that and we'll see you soon we're going to be taking a week off because we're switching to tuesdays for next month and live art mini so we're going to be doing some artwork made with kind of everyday school items because september's theme is back to school month so that's going to be fun so thank you for tuning in today as always check us out on youtube and check out our online store or come say hi in person Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.